I hope those of you bother to uh, look at the video I did Saturday. I'm quite happy with the diversion that we took with the painting knives. I wouldn't say it was a great picture, but it was good fun to do, and I hope it gives you some ideas. Now, um, I'm going to do a line and wash over this rough pencil boatyard scene. I've done it several well, versions of it. Um, uh, Bill asked me where, what the difference was between Indian ink and and the, the acrylic ink I have been using. Well, that's the acrylic ink I've been using, artist acrylic ink. And I've got a bottle here that I bought online, black drawing ink, and in brackets got, you see that? Uh, where are we? Indian ink, shape gently, fade resistant. So, so one says it's Indian ink, one says it's black acrylic ink. What the difference is, I don't know. So, I'm going to draw with my little stick, my little matchstick, a bit of a, some of these, uh, I might be better doing this with uh, a brush, but never mind, we'll see how we go. I know what I'll do with that. It's a little bit, it uh, needs a bit, a bit of sharpening. So I'll uh, sharpen. I've got a block here with a bit of uh, fine sandpaper. So I'll just, I'll just rub the old ink off. This is just one of those very large, long safety matches. And I think this, this might, as I'm rubbing off the, the old dried up ink from the last time I used it. So there we are. Pull the woolly bit off at the end. Right, let's see how that goes. That should be a bit better. It's much thicker than the, the acrylic. Um, and that under, under that one is just to be a bit rough. I'm going to go over this with a... with a, br a brush. Just a few sort of rowing boat boats or whatever. I'm not boatsy, I don't really, I don't live by boats. So I'm just making these up and I'll just have a, that stick is working quite well, isn't it, look. Um, we can put in a, some windows. some sticks and things just laying up against the wall um, and I've got this uh, barge, Thames barge coming up here so I'll just just draw some rough sails going down there and another one we'll have just coming down down into there Right, okay, that, that will do for that. I'm going to use an old rigger now. Uh, I'll use this one, this is quite, it's quite a good, good nick. But so I'll just uh, uh, put that, these boats in underneath the boats here. And I'm going to just show some of the roof collapsing, the tiles falling off. Right, now uh, we'll uh, put in some, some foreshore, coming down here in the bank. And I just, I know you like these because it, it's the black against the white, it gives this nice contrast. Oh, we just have a bit of shadow coming under there. It's the black, black against the white, which, uh, Seems to be very attractive. So we just show some broken roof. 
Maybe there. Let's get that down there. And we'll just just show some Um, what you put above in the water, I'm going to put that. Just show the nice still water, just just reflecting. As you go to the distance, just lesser of an impact, just fainter. But here we've got the. Uh, Some grasses and cabbages, sort of just a bit of flotsam, jetsam, just floating around there. Now we'll put a bit of a and then I'll do. So we'll have a bit of foliage coming across there. A bit of uh, high tide here. Right, that's got a bit heavy there, but never mind. Not a problem, we'll uh, just show a bit of distance here. And we'll have a bit of uh, trees here. Right, make sure your water with this, uh, well, make sure you clean your brush thoroughly. Right. Now we'll, we'll uh, give that a dry. <coughs> right, this is the first time I've used this ink, so I don't know what's going to happen here. I'll reclip the bottom here. I'm going to do this wet in wet. And we'll, I'll just test a little bit of that to make sure it's uh, sort of waterproof. Yeah, that seems waterproof. Right, hake. Get my brush over here. Right, I'll wet the paper all over. Actually, this is seems to be a little bit better than the, the acrylic ink because it, it's not picking up any of the, the blackness. It's a tiny bit, but, but considering we've already just done it, that's pretty good. Right, now, on my palette, got some nice sienna in the sky. Just go all over that. Would you, would you put in the uh, sky, put in the water. Right, now, bit of blue and a load of bit of grey. Just a nice dark cloud above that. Clean the brush and just a bit of dilute 
cut across there. Right, that's a nice, that'll dry the ice one. And I'll re clip it, get it nice and flat. And I'll give that a bit of a dry. With uh, my number 10, same colours, the blue and the uh, more darker there. So, this is just a bit of Bit of tree. Now, a bit of distance there. Come down to the horizon. Right. That'll do. Right, okay. Let's put in some tile red. Blue and red. That's blue and light red. Hmm, it's a bit hard, a bit heavy. that there. Okay. Now, uh, I'll go up to the, these uh, sails now. I'll use a smaller brush. I'll use a uh, burnt umber. Burnt sienna. Well, these are very, very thick canvas sails on these Thames barges. Oh, that's nice. Leave a gap between the mast, little mast, the spars that's coming down into the uh, into the landscape there. I'm going to have a bit of a slightly whitish sail. Right, we'll put a bit of shadow in there now on the sails just to show a bit of. With that and then we're a bit darker just to show some blowing some billowing in the sail let's drop me hake right now while that's cooling off let's uh, go back into the landscape here so a bit of burn umber this here shadow in there when that dries. We'll do the same on the other side but a bit lighter there. Bit of green, so a bit of yellow in there. Bit of paint grey. Nice little lemon yellow. Okay. 
I put in the shadows or the, uh, the shadow side of these buildings. So th this one quite light. Right, I'm do the same with the other one, but I have a warmer colour in there. That's uh, give the boat oh, I'll have to clean it out a little bit. So we keep the boats, the boats are filled up right there. Put that in a bit of a shadow in there, underneath it. Same under there. I'll let that dry because I'm going to put a colour in there. I'll have to lift that bit out there when it's dry. <coughs> Rigger. I love my new rigger. I use this this one. It's a nice dark, warm greys and blues, greys and uh, siennas. Like just this will take the intensity of that black out. Hopefully. I'm wearing my colours out in this palette because they're getting a bit old and then just just adding a bit of texture to that to these uh, the beach signs. I'm following the contour of the, uh, the shape of the land. I'll, uh, This is just the uh, few ripples here and there. They're all very quick. And a bit of texture on the other side, a bit of warm stuff here. Right, so now a bit of a uh, they're just bits of wood just leaning up against the walls. Right, let's uh, put a bit of blue. Probably don't show now. But when I put a mask on I've just got to clean out a little bit there. A uh, bit of tissue. I'm doing this as quickly as I can. One, because I've got to go and clean the loft windows. So we had some rain overnight and so much dust in the atmosphere. Right, that'll do, that'll do. Let's just take out a little bit of that there. Now, 
I'll uh, go for a nice dark. Make sure I'm using an inch flat here. Make sure the bristles are together. And we can. Some masts back here. Oh, we well, just have some From there. Or something like that. Um, on that I, th there would be a bit of a back sail on, on here. Uh, so some detail on there. Right, it's okay. I um, I could put in a bit of a put in a window there, a bit of shadow there. in a bit of uh, with a bigger right, just very very loosely brushed in you know, just to show some trees a bit of dark a bit of warm dark Trestle. Right, I can't do much more, more than that. Let's sign it. Let's uh, put it in the mount. I spent the uh, first couple of hours this morning at Denby's hanging pictures for an exhibition. If you're anywhere near Dorking in Surrey, south of London, it's a fabulous uh, vineyard <coughs> um, on gentle slopes under Box Hill um, and a very very large building, conference centre, exhibition centre, um, all sorts of restaurants, uh, a lovely shop selling the produce of the vineyard and, and the brewery. A really, really interesting place, and we're there for two weeks. A cooperative of artists, the ten of us, and uh, if you get there, I hope you enjoy it. Right, okay, let's put that in a mount, and we'll have a look. I'll find a mount. Uh, help! Oh, a bit, of, a bit of chaos here after doing the uh, the line and the wash. Let's take those off. There we are, not bad for Monday morning. Quick line of wash using uh, Indian ink as distinct from acrylic ink. I, I don't know what the difference is. They both work. They're both good. They're both uh, quite expensive actually if you don't get a lot in the bottle, but it lasts a long time. I've got enough there. If I was tight, I would wrap that up in a bit of cling film to stop it evaporating. I'll uh, zoom in 
Um, I suppose I could, I could put a little, little figure in. Let's have a go at a little figure. Where's my little figure brush? I'm not going to do a figure with a rigger. So let's uh, put uh, uh, a figure here. Uh, a nice dark blue and red. Premier. Having a plank of wood. I'll dry that because I forgot to put a colour on that. So I'll just, just a bit of sienna with this little brush here. Couple of points. Okay, there we go, I'll zoom in, you can have a look, see what we've done. Let's move my camera around a bit and go down here, there's my building. Red roofs, of the tiles have fallen off. And there's my boat, quickest one I've ever painted, it was quite good actually. Just an impression of a, of a, beach, of a Suffolk beach scene. Made up entirely by yours truly. I'll uh, zoom out. And there we are. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.